Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're here exploring Final Fantasy VII. We're up by the rail station, we just escaped, uh, something. We've been running from Shinra, or whatever. Oh, that's right, we went to Walmart. It's been a while, I apologize. We went to Walmart, and we, uh, dressed up Cloud as the prettiest girl, and then ended up in the sewers after Don... Cornello, Corn, Cornelio, whatever his name was, dumped us down a conveniently placed chute in the floor. So now we're trying to go back to save Sector 7 because somebody's gonna try to blow it up. Tifa, we made it! The pillar's standing! Wait, you hear something above us? Gunfire? Uh-oh. Gunfire all over the place. Hey, it's Barrett! And he looks like he's just been placed lazily on top of the, uh, pier under back. Oh, Biggs! Er, Wedge. That was Wedge, right? I think it was Wedge. Wedge! You alright? Cloud! You remembered my name. Barrett's up top. Help him. And Cloud. Sorry, it wasn't any help. Well, we can all be helpful. I'm going up. Eris, you look after Wedge. He's dead. He just fell like ten stories. Eris, do me a favor. I have a bar called Seventh Heaven in this neighborhood. There's a little girl named Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll put her somewhere safe. How is she gonna know where the seventh heaven is, though? For all she for all she knows, this place is huge, and she could be looking around for hours trying to find the kid. It's dangerous here. Everyone, get away from the pillar quickly. Everyone, get out of sector seven. Okay. You, you have fun there. You do that. I'll go up here, and oh look, it's a save point. I think I'm gonna save real quick, because it's good to do that before stuff happens. Now well, let's go up these stairs. Nope, let's up the stairs. Thank you, Cloud. Not past them. Oh, holy crap. Hey, dead person. Hey, it's big. Oh no, Cloud, so you don't care what happens to the planet? Nope, not interested. You're wounded. Thanks, Cloud. Don't worry about me. Barrett's fighting up there. Go help him. Okay. I'll just leave you to die. Sure. Like I left Wedge to die. Like I'll eventually leave everyone to die. It's more fun that way. What the hell are these things? Are these just dudes? Like, wearing really weird suits with propellers for hands? How is that even remotely practical? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, he fell down, though. That's good, I suppose. Figure it must be, right? I don't know. Seems to do the same damage. Maybe it slightly lowers our chance to hit them when they're flying. I would guess that'd be it. Tifa did miss her first attack on the other one, but... Only one attack missed, so it's probably not that big of a debuff, if anything. I don't know. Oh well. Just keep going up the stairs that are slightly awkward to navigate because of the camera angle and the fact that it's a pre-rendered background. I normally love pre-rendered backgrounds, but uh, I guess this is a case where it's not the best thing. Hey, look at that, he fell. Instantly. Maybe I did something right. I don't know. Punch him, Tifa. Punch him real good with your fists. Your fists were made for punching. That's just what they'll do. Oh, Tifa. You, you gonna, but... I'm gonna waste both my limits on this guy. 
fine. Maybe Tifa can finish him off. And Cloud could use some healing magic. That'd work. That'd be great. Where did his magic go? Damn it! Damn it, Tifa, you did this, didn't you? Ah, I gave his healing magic to Eris. Fuck. <laughs> How could I forget? It was literally like last episode when I did that. Ugh, because last episode was a while ago. Oh well, okay. Yep, you just keep attacking. We'll tough it out. To drop a potion on her pretty soon. Somersault gained. Oh boy. What's that do? I don't know. Stores HP by 100. Sounds like a good deal to me. Might as well give one to him too then. Alright. No, oh, thank god. I thought it was another battle immediately afterwards. Just a change of camera angle. Nothing to worry about. Hey, it's uh... What was her name? What was her name? Shit. I can't remember. Jesse! Cloud, I'm glad I could talk with you one last time. Don't say last. That's alright. Because of our actions, many people died. This probably is our punishment. Well, if you knew that, why'd you do it, you dumbass? Oh, oh boy. Oh, great. Lovely random battle. Just what I always wanted. Actually, there's probably a boss coming up soon. I should save this. It's gonna be kind of awkward just watching Cloud stand there and not do anything. Oh, well, at least he's soaking up hits, so Tifa won't get damaged. It only takes Tifa, like, four hits to kill these things, I think. Yeah. Something like that. That's what the other one took, I think. I can't remember. I wasn't actually counting. It just felt like four. So there you go. There's a fourth one. I knew it. Told you. Exactly. Exactly as planned. And they're about to level up. Again. Already. Holy crap. Hey, look, it's a dead dude. Dead Chinra soldier. Oh, we can't talk to him and help him out? Alright, fine. Hey, Barrett, what's up? Barrett. Tifa, Cloud, you came! Oh, God, I can't remember my Barrett voice. I'm not good at voices, okay? It's just... Oh, be careful. They're attacking from the helicopter. <laughs> Go, that's the new one. Better equip ourselves before they attack in full force. Press the menu button to access the menu. Press the OK button when finished. Sure. Alright, well, yep, like I guessed, it's probably a boss battle coming up soon. Everybody is at more or less full health. Uh, and I don't have the healing magic, so there's nothing else I can really do. Can't save. So, let's hope I don't die. Here they come! Hey, look, it's Reno! And... <laughs> I like how Parrot's shooting at them already. The game doesn't even pretend that it has turn-based combat when it's in a cutscene. Reno, Reno! Ugh, uh, mm, didn't mean to... Ugh, trip over my own tongue there. You're too late! Once I push this button... That's all, folks! Mission accomplished! Why did you say that, then? Why didn't you just jump down and push the button? What if they, like, jumped on you? Like, he, he jumped down, stood still for a second, and then talked. What if they had, like, jumped on him and started clobbering him in that time? We have to disarm it! Cloud, bear it, please! I can't have you do that. No one... No one gets in the way of Reno and the Turks. Oh, we're fighting Reno! I forgot that you fought him this early in the game. Alright. Cross slash... Pyramid? What the hell does that do? Reno, try and break it if you can. 
Oh no, Cloud can't take any actions until I break the stupid pyramid. Alright. Oh no, not two in a row! I don't want Tifa to punch Cloud! <laughs> Damn it! Oh good, she automatically- oh okay, so the- the uh, shield is actually a separate uh, target from Cloud. And since the shield disappeared, she automatically switched her thing to Reina. Just like when an enemy dies if you had them targeted. That's cool. That's really good, actually. Electromag Rod. It's a nasty little attack there you got, Reno. But you know what we have? We've got giant fists and swords of moderate size. Mix that up, but I don't think it matters. Because he should be dead soon. I really can't imagine him not being dead soon. Oh no, the shield didn't break this time? Are you kidding me? Alright, I think Barret does a little more damage. God damn it! And she auto attacked the thing. Great. Good job, Tifa. Way to use that limit break. Oh, hey, Cloud guarded for once and took a bunch of damage. Wait, did that. Did the stupid targeting thing just switch to Tifa because he was leaving? Looked like it. Hey, two level ups. Take everything, but one ether. Yeah. Awesome. And he just jumps over the edge. I'm sure he'll survive. He actually will. Sarcasm wasn't uh, required there. But still. Cloud, I don't know how to stop this. Try it. <laughs> sure. It's not a normal time bomb. Uh-oh. He's got Eris. Sang. That's right, you'll have a hard time disarming that one. It'll blow the second some stupid jerk touches it. Please, stop it! Ha ha ha! Only a Shinra executive can set up or disarm the emergency plate release system. Shut your hole! Ah, oh god, I can't remember the, the big black man voice. I wouldn't try that, you just might make me injure our special guest. He's... he's still shooting. Why would they have him stay in the animation for shooting during the text bubble? Shouldn't he have stopped as soon as Tsang spoke up? Whatever. It just... it's weird, okay? Anyway, Eris! Oh, you know each other. How nice you could see each other one last time. You should thank me. What are you going to do with Eris? I haven't decided. Our orders were to find and catch the last remaining ancient. It's taken us a long time, but now I can finally report this to the president. Tifa, don't worry. She's alright. She's alright? Don't you mean I'm alright? Oh, she's talking about Marlene. Never mind. Eris! Hurry and get out! Ha ha ha. Well, it should be starting right about now. Think you can escape in time? Uh oh, FMV! The FMV is starting right now! Dude, you could better get out of there. A piece of rubble's gonna hit your helicopter and you're gonna go fucking down. How will our heroes survive this one? Find out next time on Final Fantasy VII, Part 10 or whatever episode. I don't know. Once that plate starts coming down, it'll be too late. We gotta hurry. Okay. So what do we just go down the stairs? Bit Barrett, stop running away. I'm trying to talk to you, dude. Oh, okay. Cool. Yo, we can use this wire to get out. Sure. Awesome. Sit on his arm. 
Uh, he's a big guy, but I don't think he's that big. Let's be honest. I don't think his shoulder is a good seat. Oh, snap. You know, so I understand they figure, oh, Avalanche is down in the Sector 7 slums. So we got we gotta kill Avalanche. And for some reason we can't just send soldiers in there to do it. There's like seven members of Avalanche. If you count the kid Marlene, there's only actually six members of Avalanche. They could have just sent some soldiers in there to kill them all. But they want to do it in a more extravagant way, whatever, sure. So that's fine. You know, they want to do it in some big dramatic way that kills everyone in the Sector 7 slums. That's one thing. That's, you know, that's cruel of them and all that, but it's not a huge deal. Or, I mean, it's not as huge a deal when you compare it to the fact that they also killed everybody in regular Sector 7. Like, just regular, plain old Sector 7. The people who are up on the top plate. All those normal, tax-paying citizens are all dead now. That was a dumb move from any point of view. Not even just like, oh, they're innocent people, we killed them. But also like, you know, big greedy Shinra likes to charge people money for their power. Well, you just killed off, like, how many plates are there? seven or eight at the best case scenario you just killed an eighth of your customers and they were customers who didn't have a choice but to be your customers it's not like they were trying to cancel their cell phone plan and go and join freaking a boost mobile or something and Verizon's like oh no you got a contract with us for another year fuck you and no Shinra they were your customers for life and you just threw the money down the drain because you wanted to kill six people, you dumbasses. Anyway, Barris having his emotional moment. He thinks his daughter's dead. Marlene! Biggs! Wedge! Jesse! God damn it. Damn it. Damn it all. What the hell is it all for? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do the deep Blackman voice, so I resorted to Southerner, I guess. Hey, Barrett! Barrett! Arr! Hey! Barrett, stop! Please, stop, Barrett! Arr! God damn. Marlene. Barrett? Marlene is... I think Marlene is safe. Huh? You could have said that earlier, Tifa. The man's been grieving for like three hours. You've just been sitting here watching him cry over the death of his daughter. And now you think to be like, oh, actually, I think she's probably alive. Right before they took Eris, she said, don't worry, she's all right. She was probably talking about Marlene. R really? But... Biggs, Wedge, Jesse... All three of them were in the pillar. Think I don't know that? But we, all of us, fought together. I don't want to think of them as dead. Uh, I should probably save this voice for Sid. What am I doing using it on Barrett? And the other people in Sector 7? This is all screwed up. Oh, fuck, no, that's not even better. They destroyed an entire village just to get to us. They killed so many people. <laughs> entire village and an entire eighth of the city, dude. Are you saying it's our fault? Because Avalanche was here? Innocent people lost their lives because of us? Yes. Dumbass, like all the innocent people who lost their lives when you blew up those reactors. No, Tifa! We can't admit responsibility for anything. 
That ain't it. Hell no. It ain't us. It's the damn Shinra. It's never been nobody but Shinra. Bombs don't kill people. Shinra kills people. They're evil and destroying our planet just to build their power and line their own damn pockets with gold. If we don't get rid of them, they're gonna kill this planet. Our fight ain't never gonna be over until we get rid of them. I don't know. What don't you know? You don't believe me? It's not that. I'm not sure about me, my feelings. And what about you? Yo! Where does he think he's going? Oh, Eris! Oh yeah, that girl. What's up with her? I don't really know, but she's the one I left Marlene with. Bam, Marlene! Marlene! He's about to turn into Rick Grimes. Marlene, get back in the house! Tifa, there ain't no turning back now. He just said there's no turning back and he stopped and turned around to look back. Wow, Tifa. Disrespectful. Cloud! Couldn't tell which one of them was saying it. <laughs> Take me to Marlene! But, what? He doesn't know where Marlene is! You're going to help Eris? Yeah, but before that, there's something I want to know. What's that? It's about the Ancients. Ooh. In my veins curses the blood of the Ancients. I am one of the rightful heirs to this planet. Oh, it's probably Sephiroth saying that. Never mind. Sephiroth? Exactly. Are you alright? Pull it together, man. Pull it together so we can all get inside you. Oh, we can just walk down this girder. Whoops, perspective made it hard. Okay, what the hell are these things? These are new inhabitants. Yeah, yeah. You all stop smacking us with your weird claw tentacle thingies. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Dumbass. No, I didn't want to... Damn it, Cloud. I wasn't trying to target that one. Whatever. Guess it doesn't matter which one they target now, because they're both damaged, because Cloud went and fucked up. There you go. Smack him. Good job. Awesome. Also, I just realized Tifa's, like, about to die. Potion time. Let's get some hardcore potion action up in here. There you go, three of them. Two. No, well, I only used two of them. Okay. <laughs> I tried to press it again, and I sort of just didn't, I guess. Oops. Hey, let's run back through this weird junkyard looking place that used to have a giant robot hand, I guess. I mean, a giant, a, I mean, a giant robot for the hand. Whatever. Is it more of the Slimer dudes? Nope, it's a big-ass house. Great. Those are my favorite enemies. Houses. Two hundred twenty. Dang! This house has shit freaking defense, doesn't it? Though, apparently a lot of health. What? Oh, it never transformed. That is funny. I thought those things were supposed to transform once they got down to, like below half health. Alright, now where the hell is the exit in this place? Down here. Okay. Awesome. Hey, it's back in Sector 6. Awesome. Where's... Do we have a save point? Yes, up here, I believe. Good, because, uh... Or something. Wait, no. Oh, wait, Eris' house is... somewhere. That's where we're supposed to go. I believe Eris took Marlene to her house. And I believe we're house down here? Oh, and there's a save point. Good, because I've got to end the episode here. I'm out of time, unfortunately. I hope you all have enjoyed this, and I hope you all continue to enjoy it. And hopefully next time when I come back, my uh, big black man voice will be ready and warmed up.
because, you know, I have to be able to do the funny voices or else the video won't be good, I guess. I don't know if anybody even likes the funny voices because nobody tells me anything. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye